Hey, I want to welcome you or welcome you back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. And can you believe we have made it to the end of the year? It's just literally one day left in this year and we are sliding right into 2022. So today I just want to pray for you. I want to pray for you in the upcoming new year. I just want to pray that you have the one of the best years you've ever experienced in your life. I'm praying that God just pours out his abundant favor and blessings all over your life and all over everything he's called you to do. So that's what I want to do today. So let's just go right into prayer. So Heavenly Father, we come now just to thank you, Lord. We come just to lift your name up. God, we come just thanking you and praising you and blessing you for bringing us through another year. God, it has been another long year. It has been another hard year, but we thank you, Father, for bringing us to this point in time, for bringing us to this place and space. And God, right now, before we do anything else, before the new year officially comes in, we just want to thank you for what you've done. We want to thank you for who you are. We want to thank you, God, for just being a loving God, a kind God, a good, good father. We want to thank you for stabilizing us, for protecting us, for covering us, for keeping us, for healing us, for strengthening us. God, whatever happened this year, whatever we faced, even the sorrows, even the frustrations, even the disappointments, even the doubt, even the hurt and pain, God, we thank you that you are still a sustainer. We thank you, God, that you are still on the throne. And Father, even when things happen that we do not understand, even when things happen that we totally disagree with, even when things happen that we do not like and we do not want any parts of, God, you are still God. You are still on the throne and you are still in complete control. And so we just want to thank you and praise you on today, Lord, for who you are. And so, Father, no matter what your children have experienced in this year, no matter what they have walked through, no matter what they have had to face, no matter what has taken hit after hit after hit upon them, no matter what the enemy has, has sent to try to destroy them, we thank you that on today, God, they are still standing in you. On today, God, they have still made it. And so, Father, we thank you that you have more in store for them. We thank you, God, that this is not the end, God, that this is the, the messy middle, Lord, but this is is not the end. And we thank you, Father, for what is to come. And so, Father, even now, I lift up each and every person that is listening to this prayer. I pray, God, that you do something intimately for them. God, I pray you do something miraculous for them in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you minister to them directly, Father, like only you can do. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you begin to show them their 2022. Begin to show them, God, what you have in store for them. Begin to show them, God, how you want to restore the years that they have lost, the time that they feel like they have lost. God, I pray restoration for them now in the name of Jesus. I thank you that restitution and recompense is coming for your people in 2022. I thank you, God, that everything the enemy tried to steal from them, God, you're going to give back to them and then some in the new year. So, Father, I just decree and declare now in the name of Jesus that their 2022 shall be blessed. I thank you, God, that they're going to walk in the fullness of all the things you've called them to. I thank you, God, that the things that you have called them to put their hands to and build shall prosper in this new year in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that the things that they have had to watch crumble, the things that have been destroyed, the things that they have lost, the things that have been ripped away from them, I thank you, God, for restoration in 2022 in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that whatever you've called them to do for ministry, whatever you've called them to do for business, whatever you've called them to do for their family and their household, whatever you've called them to do as it relates to their health. I thank you, God, that this shall be the year that they begin moving toward the things that you have said to them. I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, that this shall be the year that they begin to see the manifestation of the promises that you spoke long ago. I thank you, God, that many have felt like, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. I don't know if God is ever going to do it. I don't know if he's going to bring this to pass. I thank you, God, that this shall be the year that your people testify of your goodness, that your people shall testify of your faithfulness, that your people testify, God, of the good and perfect things that you have done in their 
lives. I thank you, God, that every dead thing in their life shall live in the name of Jesus. Every dead dream, every dead hope, every dead expectation, everything that they have given up on, I thank you, God, that it shall live in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that you're going to bring those things back to remembrance. You're going to bring those hopes and dreams and wishes and desires back to remembrance in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that they're going to feel some resistance and they're going to feel like, I don't want to try that again. I already tried that and it flopped and it, and it hurt and I don't want to do that again. But I thank you, God, that this shall be the year. This shall be the time. This shall be the season that they, shall, that they will see fruit bloom in their lives. I thank you, God, for every seed they have been sowing for your glory. I thank you that those um, seeds shall spring forth. I thank you, God, that it's time for them to reap a harvest in the name of Jesus. I thank you that every seed that they've sown, Lord, faithfully sowing seed year after year after year and not seeing anything come forth. I thank you, God, that 2022 shall be the year, God, that the harvest springs forth. I thank you, God, for bountiful harvest for your people in the name of Jesus. So God, even now I ask God that you just minister to hearts. I pray God in the name of Jesus that you just go into the hearts of your people, God, and you begin to mend their heart, that you begin to encourage their heart, God, the places that hurt deep Deeply, the places that are broken, the places that are full of disappointment. God, I pray that you minister to those places in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you show us in this brand new year who you are. I pray, God, that you show us that you are the God who never forgets. I pray you show us, God, that you are still the faithful one. You are still the mighty one. You are still the one who never goes back on his word. I thank you, God, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, Lord. So we're speaking blessings upon your people in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you do have goodness for your people in the land of the living. I thank you, God, for the faithful ones, Lord, who have been serving you faithfully, God, serving faithfully, praying for your people, doing what you've called them to do, doing what you've led them to do. God, I thank you that this is the time, this is the season, Lord, where you begin to bless them openly before others to see, God, just what you've been working on behind the scenes. I thank you that this is the season that you're going to begin to catapult your people forward, God, for their faithfulness in the name of Jesus. So I thank you, Lord, for the work that you're doing. I thank you, God, for healing hearts. I thank you for healing homes. I thank you, God, for healing relationships. Relationships. I thank you, God, for pulling your people, God, into a new realm with you, into a new dimension with you. I thank you for increasing the mindset. I thank you, God, that every place that the enemy thought he had gained ground in the lives of your people, I thank you that you are going to restore, renew, and replenish in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that your people are not defeated. I thank you that they are not dead, that it is not over, Lord, but that the story is just beginning. I thank you, Lord, that the people People listening to this video now, Lord, shall have a beautiful testimony. They will be able to speak about the goodness of God. They'll be able to speak about what you did for them, God. They'll be able to share the testimony that I thought it was over. I thought it was never going to happen. I thought it would never work for me and God showed up. I thank you, Lord, that they will be able to testify of your goodness, Lord, in the land of the living. So, Lord, as we prepare to cross over into the new year, I thank you for covering your people. I thank you that your people are sealed in the blood of Jesus. I thank you for protecting them and covering them, God, and shielding them now from the crown of their head, Lord, to the soles of your feet. I thank you for divine protection for your people now in the name of Jesus. I thank you that every heavy weight every false burden, everything that's been weighing them down and trying to pull them back. I thank you that they will drop it now in the name of Jesus and leave it where they stand. I thank you, Lord, that they will not pick up any more burdens. They will not pick up any more weights. They will not pick up any more things that would try to entangle them, God, but they would run free in the name of Jesus, that they would move free in the name of Jesus, that they would move mightily, God, by your power in the name of Jesus. And as they go forward, God, they would remember what you've called them to do. They would remember the work that you've called them to do. I thank you, God, for ease in this next season. I thank you that your, your children who have been laboring in the vineyards, God, they're going to step into a level of ease with you. God, they're going to see you. You show off and do what only you can do in their lives. 
They're going to see you move mightily in their lives, God, in the name of Jesus. And they will give you all the glory. They will tell everyone they can that it was only you, Father, that brought them through. It was only you, Lord, that pulled them up from that dark place. It was only you, God, who turned their life completely around. So I thank you now for covering God and protecting your people. I thank you, Lord, that the best is yet to come. I thank you, Father, that the weight of the last season has fallen off of your people in the name of Jesus and you are moving them into the new. God, I thank you that you are moving them into the new in the name in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that they will be able to perceive it. They will be able to perceive the new thing that you're doing in their lives. I thank you, Lord, that one of my favorite scriptures in Amos 9 and 13 says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now. And I thank you, Father, that what you have for your people, it won't be long now before they're able to see the manifestation. It won't be long now, God, before blessings upon blessings upon blessings are running them down, God, because of their obedience to you, because of their faithfulness to you, God, it won't be long now. And so, Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you for bringing us through and for what you are about to bring us into. I call each and every person listening to this video now blessed in the name of Jesus. We bind the hand of the enemy that would try to come against them, that would try to rob them, that would try to steal from them, that would try to take them out. We bind it now in the name of Jesus and we loose them into the kingdom, into your power, God, into kingdom authority. We loose them, God, in, name, in the name of Jesus, into everything that you have called them to do. We loose the kingdom agenda now in their lives. And it is so now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. It is so. Amen and amen. So everybody have a happy, happy new year. And I just hope that you have the bless of the best year, one of the most best and blessed years that that you have ever experienced. I look forward to hearing about all the wonderful things that God is going to do in your life. And I'm just praying the best is yet to come for you. And I will talk to you next week. But in the meantime, enjoy your new year and just have a wonderful rest of the week.